I mean, I, I think Kansas right now is playing at a level as as high as anybody in college basketball from from what I've seen. And I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they start four seniors. I mean, it's like wow. And, you know, the leading scorer is a redshirt freshman. So it, it uh, they're a very very experienced, seasoned uh, basketball team. And and you know, I, I think from the standpoint of the caliber that uh, of a team that they are, obviously you're going to. Um, you know, hopefully learn quite a bit about your basketball team as you get ready to, to head in January, February, March. You know, it, it's, it's funny because there, there's not, a, I don't want to say not a lot, but there's, there's not as many great shot blockers as maybe there used to be, and, and, and he's definitely probably the best in college basketball. Um, but I, I don't think, um, you know, there's anything you can do, you know, you've got an awareness of, of where he is and, and that sort of thing, but he's probably going to block a couple, and, and you know, you gotta, you got to keep playing. Um, you know, I, I, I think I, I go back to, I think it was year two here, Jamar Butler drove one time, some guy came out of nowhere and like slammed it into the 19th row. And, uh, you know, we took a time out and one of the assistants said, Jamar, you should have bounced. I said, I never even saw him. It was Tyrus Thomas from LSU. Um, I mean, it was the most impressive block. And, you know, we still won the game and, you know, we're just like, hey, just, just keep playing. Well, it's it's very important, and and I think you know they've they're they're long, they're athletic, um, and and they've got guys that can really finish. And you know that was one of the the first things I noticed is just how well they finish around the basket. And and I, I think from the the standpoint of um, you know what. You know they they can ignite. I mean they they've put some runs on teams this year that have been astonishing. And and. You know, we've got to do the best, and, and knowing they're going to get they're going to get some easy ones, but we got to try to limit those the best that we possibly can. From last year, you know what I remember. You know they they were a very good team. Um, they had very good guards. They had very good inside play. Um, Thomas Robinson, being the great player that he is, he's not there anymore. So uh, I mean, I would say that's a huge relief. Uh, but at the same time, Jarrett's not here anymore. So at the same time, we are both two different teams and. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to do our best while we still have. Um, now, granted, we both still have good teams and some pretty good players, so it, it'll come down to uh, what what changes we make and how we execute out there on the floor. I think for both teams, this game is going to be uh, a toughness match. It, it's hands down it'll be the toughest team's win. Um, the team that goes out and gets, you know, 50-50 balls or out-rebounds the other team and uh, can come out here and, and execute their offense and play solid defense will be the winner of this game. Uh, it's going to come down to a few things, but I think one of the main main things we have to do is um, who's going to be the tougher basketball team. Um, they do a phenomenal job of, of getting second chance points, grabbing 50-50 balls, you know, really limiting possessions for us offensively. Um, and, and we have to find a way to, to overcome that, um, if not um, match that or be better than their intensity and, and their toughness um, because, that, you know, that's what Kansas basketball is about. And um, so that's what we need to come in and really focus on and try to do.